is headed to the transfer desk and we're gonna catch our next flight. Okay, two. Guess why? Our flat has left. So guys, this was not my fault. It was not our fault. The plane landed right on time. The plane landed at 10 p.m. and the next flight was 10.35 p.m. which gave us 35 minutes to get through security and onto the next, onto the next uh, flight, to the next gate. And what had happened once we got to the gate, they told us that the flight already left. Guys, I'm livid because the next flight out of Addis Ababa is tomorrow night at the same time. So that means we got to wait in Addis Ababa for 24 hours. Even though I think they're going to give us accommodation, but this was not the plan. Now we miss out on our accommodation in Tokyo. I don't even think they're going to compensate us for anything. So we're about to find out at customer services. So I think this is ridiculous, guys. I know the flight left late in Cape Town. We left about 30 minutes late, but the pilot or the captain told us that he made up the time and we landed at the same time that we were supposed to land. So there was no chance of this flight being delayed. And once we got to the, to the, uh, to the gate, they just told us the flight's already left and we've got to come to the um, customer service desk to make arrangements for a different flight. Number one, it's freaking on. As you can see. No air con. <laughs> God. Apparently Ethiopian Air is infamous for missing flights. My mom was here last time and she missed the flight as well due to the delays. So guys, we just said that tomorrow night's flight is also time, fully booked. Fully booked. But let me just uh, give you an update guys. So our flight left Cape Town almost an hour late. Yes. Because we were waiting on the crew members. The crew, the entire crew, not just one or two people, the entire crew. All right, so they've given us vouchers for the evening. So our flight, apparently they found uh, a booking fast for tomorrow night, the same flight. Oh, and yeah. um, so we flying the same time tomorrow night. And then in, in addition to that, we've asked them to change our tickets coming back from Tokyo. So we've extended it now with a day and they change it for us without uh, us having to pay in anything. I'm so disappointed in Ethiopian Airlines guys. I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna keep saying it and I'm, I'm sorry like a I'm sorry that I sound like a stuck record but and it's what it is guys. These guys are messing around. Um so anyway, it's all sorted. I'm just waiting for a confirmation, a confirmation email that our flight for uh, coming back from uh, Tokyo to Cape Town is definitely confirmed and then uh, once I've got that confirmation we will then go to immigration um, and then we'll go to our hotel with the shuttle get a good night's rest get ready for, two, for the, the fight continues tomorrow <laughs> alrighty guys still in Addis Ababa and uh, just gotta tell you guys that service is so poor we're actually just writing down we're at the customer complaints desk now and uh, we're just reiterating our story the guys at the, the uh, complaints office not this one that i'm at, that I'm at now but the uh, previous one they were not very very accommodating and um, they're basically just saying that it's not their fault there's nothing they can do about it um, we just got to take what we get and uh, they're not gonna give us any compensation. All we gotta do now is lay a complaint. <laughs> well, I said to them, lay a complaint, we're gonna wait 10 months for something to happen, for them to even respond to us. So uh, laying, laying a complaint or sending an email, yes, I know it's gotta be done, but how long is it gonna take? And also, why can't you help us? We have an immediate need right now. You need to give us a solution right now. And so now we're saying to them, but hey, listen, guys, seeing that we're missing out a day in Japan, why don't you make it up to us and give us an extra day? Change our return flight to a day later. He said to me, no problem. The flight's been changed to the 11. You can go to your hotel right now. 
just come back on the 11th everything is sorted um i asked him for confirmation he checked on the system and then he said to me sorry sir there's no flights available on the 11th and i'm like hey but guy you just told me that you've changed it to the 11th so what happened to that flight and he said well the only available flight is the 12th so we can't take the 12th we've got to get back to the office we've got to get back to work so guys these guys were bullshitting us and they're sending us from the one guy to the other so i mean well guys that's not cool man they are bullshitters and they are not accommodating at all they are rude i've got the guy's name i'm gonna make a complaint but they are rude and uh, they just brushed us off and said there's nothing that they could do that's not cool guys this was the poorest service that i've ever received from an airline i'm sorry i've flown with ethiopian air many times before and i was happy with the service but guys this one incident it's left a bad taste in my mouth it left a bad impression and i will never fly with the open airlines again and all right we're on our way to the uh Leoba hotel skylight hotel this is our shuttle okay so we need to give our vouchers that's a good yeah is that the one all right let's go Yes. Good times. Good times, guys. Good times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm so sleepy and actually so hungry. Uh, yes. well, I guess the kitchen will be closed. The restaurants will be closed. So. Afternoon, <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, this is the Skylight Hotel. We're just gonna go to reception and get checked in. Let's hope this is not a long process. Oh guys, it's like after one in the morning and there's such a lot of activity out here. Right? So this is the Sky Hotel. I don't know what the other section was where we had to go and check in. Because this is more like a check-in on this side. So now we got to go back to reception there as well. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Skylight Hotel. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I have no clue why we had to check in at that dodgy spot on the other side. Just looked like a like an alley or something. Like, and it didn't give me any hope. But feeling much better now. Hey guys. So just can't get any better in this place man so now we went to our uh, hotel rooms and none of the key cards are working so obviously now uh, we had to come back to reception to have our cards activated so apparently it wasn't activated on the other side i mean what bullshit is this man it's actually a very nice hotel guys uh, let me just get inside that's my room check this out Oh guys, what is that? That king size. That looks so big. That looks huge. And check this out. Check the TV. Nice wall unit with some uh, working disk space. Nice little coffee table with some relaxing chairs. And uh, nice. Well, obviously AC. Classy guys, I think this might be, uh, what would this be, a four star? Check the bathrooms, oops. Let's see. Very nice. Very nice guys, check out the shower, it's an open shower. And, nice. Just going for breakfast. It is just after seven. Candace decided to sleep in a bit. She was still feeling a bit tired, so uh, 
she's probably gonna come down a bit later for breakfast but I couldn't wait and I couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep anymore breakfast was not that amazing I would say nothing amazing on the uh, buffet table I just ended up having two boiled eggs with bread uh, with a uh, sorry with croissant and they had some sweet croissant as well with jam on the inside and they had some coffee um, overall guys not an amazing experience I'm not being ungrateful but I think everything that's happened thus far has just left a better taste and I really don't feel that um, I'm not sure we can get any better but, but I'm hopeful maybe things turn out better for us today as I mentioned Karen is still sleeping in she um, well, she was a bit tired this morning well obviously we only went to bed at like 2.30 this morning and it's now just after 7 it's about 7.30 now um, I couldn't really sleep and um, I got hungry and then I just decided to come for breakfast and we'll probably come around a little later uh, hopefully before 10 o'clock because they close at 10 uh, she's not going to be too excited about what's on offer here at the menu <laughs> for breakfast so we'll see hey guys so we are on our way back to the airport as I mentioned to you I didn't sleep much I was also very hungry <laughs> we when we got here last night the restaurants were closed as well we weren't the only ones complaining by the way uh, many other people who also missed their flights were complaining about the same thing and it seemed like there's a whole community of uh, missed flights and transit um, passengers and everybody was unhappy so we're definitely not the only ones uh, so today we're gonna go can what are Hello. we doing hey uh, hi. <laughs> Why are you asking me? So we're going to the airport and yes, we're we going are. to continue the fight. We are, we are. All right, guys. So just in short, what we want to do is they either got to give us back the one day that we're missing in Japan by giving us an extended stay in terms of changing the flight, changing the flight to a different date or to the date after, or they've got to compensate. Because remember that we've made bookings, hotel bookings, and we've made excursion bookings in Japan. And we're losing out on that money now. Um, so those things were already pre-booked online. We're losing out on that. And for the airline to just say, sorry, not our problem. We're giving you a, uh, a one night stay in a hotel. So, man, that's not, that's not compensating at all. Uh, I didn't want to be in Addis Ababa. I wanted to be in Japan. So don't tell me that giving me a hotel voucher for Addis Ababa is making up for um, what we're supposed to have in Japan. Alrighty guys, so uh, we're back at the airport and now we at, where are we? We're at the ticketing office actually. We went to customer services and they sent us to the ticketing office and we spoke to uh, somebody out here now and they're making arrangements to change our ticket to the 11th uh, or the day after coming back. So that's what they said last night too. And we were about to walk away and go back to our hotel only to find out that they never made any changes so uh, we're just waiting on confirmation we're waiting on an email to say that it's definitely been changed to the 11th and if that's the case guys then at least it makes up for us losing out the one day in japan because we were supposed to be in japan this evening so uh, now we're losing out today now we're spending our day in addis ababa it's not pleasant guys, um, I couldn't even have changed clothes, um, the hotel was nice, food, meh. We don't even know if our luggage is on its way to Japan. We don't know. We don't know where it is. So, this is the, you know, this is the drawbacks of like uh, flying and, and having like, and doing and traveling often. This is the drawbacks. Yeah. Um, we do. calmer this morning because we had a nice rest and we are, we're not as pissed off. But that does not mean that the tiger <laughs> will not emerge. 
So give it time. Let's see what this lovely gentleman can come up with over here. We have the desk at the moment. So if he does formulate a solution that suits us, then we're happy days. But as of now, um, we're still kind of there's no equilibrium just yet. Right? Yeah, we've know? been we've we've been promised too many times. Yeah, no. In the last day or two, yeah. so uh, we're just waiting on something concrete and so the last thing i need is for my luggage to also be missing that's that's it that's the, that's gonna be it for me guys then i'm just gonna have to pull out all stops no holes barred and i'm gonna have to go in you know what i'm saying like i like i do, like I do. so let, let's for their sake hope all right guys so let's let's hope for the best and, uh, we're just gonna wait for confirmation well here we are again Back at the airport, back at international departures. And uh, hopefully this time it won't be a nightmare. Guys, so again, this afternoon we were promised once again that our ticket has been changed from the 10th to the 11th. We were told in no uncertain terms that it's a done deal, that everything is sorted, uh, all they're waiting for now is um, the new reference number because they're changing the reference number from my original one to a new one. And everything is done. The guy that we spoke to then said to us, go back home, go back to the hotel and come back at 4.30. Everything will be done. You will receive your confirmation and it will be sorted. Uh, I asked him, until what time do you work? And he said he works until 5. So I said, look, we'll be here at half past 4. 4.30 I called him. He didn't reply, he didn't answer, and then I texted him, and then he said to me, I'm sorry to inform you that there's no flights available on the 11th. Again, after he had told me that the bookings were made, it's a done deal. <laughs> Guys, wow, man. So it is we, just ridiculous. We are having to speak to a Mr. Dawitz, who is one of the managers at one of the gates. Um, we'll possibly meet him when we go to passport control. So right. Wow guys, this is unbelievable. So many promises made, so many commitments made, and yet nothing's been delivered. We are still stuck with our flight on the 10th of June. It's the lies, man. It's the lies for me, guys. It's the lies. The promises and lies. Right, so their argument is that there is no other flights out from Narita to Addis Ababa on the 11th. There's only a flight out on the 12th. And then I said to them, but hey guys, I've been checking online. There are flights out with other airlines. You have an agreement with other airlines. You are part of the Star Alliance. And, uh, there's a whole lot of airlines attached to that or to that group, which is Emirates, uh, Swiss Air, I think Lufthansa, and I think Turkish Airlines too. So why not make an arrangement with one of those airlines and book us on that flight for the 11th? Because I checked online and there were flights available. All they said to me is that they don't do that kind of arrangement with other airlines, um, that we should um, cancel our booking and rebook with the other airline. So now you guys know you know that's going to be so expensive. But why should we have to carry the cost for that when clearly it was not our fault? That we are a day late so guys i've just spoken to a manager uh, and he then said that no problem whatever you want us to do we can do for you and then he sent us to this lady and he said to us she will be able to book us on another airline this lady just told us now they cannot book us on another airline it's not possible for them to do that so you see guys these guys are just brushing us off the one is saying it can be done and then they send us to a different guy and then the different guy says, no, it can't be done. So we suck in the middle. We are at an impasse right now. <laughs> These guys are bullshitting us, man. So none of them are willing to take accountability. Nobody's willing to take responsibility. They know that they screwed up. They're not willing to fix this screw up. Uh, I suppose it's going to set the precedent, but they definitely screwed up. So now, guys, we're again at the counter after we've been to three different counters. So they're sending us to uh, complaint section, then they're sending us to the ticketing office, and then they're sending us to whoever. Nobody's willing to help. We check their policy. They are able to, but they are saying that they're not allowed to, so that's where we are. So here's the latest. 
they bound a flight from Narita Airport to Bangkok and then from Bangkok to Addis Ababa and from Addis Ababa to Cape Town and guess what guys they use one of their Star Alliance partners this is what we've been asking for from the start just use the other airlines there are flights available but they kept refusing and they kept saying that they're not allowed to do that but yet they just did it for us right now we actually watched them make the booking so all we're waiting for now is for the final confirmation it will be sent to my email and then we'll also receive a new reference number that will all be sent to my email as well guys so it's taken us the full day to have this sorted goodness gracious me our next flight is out uh, at 21.50, let me just see, 10.50 p.m. 6.72. We are boarding at 9.50 p.m. So uh, we're going to proceed to 8.10 right now. We got it done just in time. So uh, just waiting on the final confirmation. Can is still at the desk. Uh, she's been fighting tirelessly to get this thing done. And uh, kudos to her. I've been taking a lot of flack on TikTok, guys. Um, I posted something earlier today about this experience and uh, people were coming at me. But you know what? I stand by my word. Um, I do think, guys, that we are afraid to stand up against these big corporates. And I'm just a little guy. Um, I might not get anything right. This might not change their mindset and change the, the way they operated, but we weren't willing to just back down and accept what they told us and what they've given us. So, uh, but I got to hand it to Ken. She uh, was the one who was persistent. I was actually at a point where I was just thinking, screw it, man. Let them have the way. Um, it is what it is. Um, I didn't want this thing to consume our our experience in Japan and I didn't want it to be sour I want to enjoy every minute of our, of our um, vacation or exploration and um, these things can easily derail you I always say that the um, journey is the destination and this is part of what happens you know these things happen on a daily to many people I suppose I mean we've been with the bus load full of people, in fact a hotel load full of people that have the same experience but nobody's willing to stand up and we just decided no that's not going to happen we're going to stand up to this and we're going to find a way kind of almost force their hand and this is what happened I just didn't want this to, to get bad and ugly but uh, once again kudos to Candice she was persistent and she um, she decided no we're not going to take this lying down we're going to go to the authorities, we're going to go to the high authorities, whatever manager we need to speak to. And, um, <laughs> and now we are here, guys, on the brink of getting it right. So the backlash that I took on, on TikTok, I stand by my comments, I stand by my video. Um, I still will not use Ethiopian Airlines again. Mark my words, guys. It's not going to happen again. I'm not going to go through this experience again. Not with this airline. I'm sorry. The prices were very reasonable. I got it a very sweet deal, but for the amount of stress and hassle that we had to go through, it's just not worth it, guys. I'd rather pay the extra five grand uh, in rand, obviously, um, to uh, book another flight with another airline and go through this again, guys. It was stressful. We practically spent the entire day at the airport. We haven't seen nothing of Addis Ababa. We spent the whole day on the phone, on text, on email, um, and at the airport, coming with the shuttle, back and forth. And here we are, about 50 minutes before our departure, and we're finally seeing the light of day. Not cool, but here we are back. Guys, it's been a time, it feels like I've been in Ethiopia for like years. It feels like we've been here for a long time, but be that as it may, we triumphed. Guys, we trumped it. We trounced. Victory. So, um, after fighting and fighting mm. and fighting, and it just proves that consistency and like dedication and like bulldozing does get you the results you want. 
so we just basically like scoured this entire place to meet the right people and they put us on a different flight for the 11th of June. And a shout out to some people, Mr. Dowitz. Mr. Dowitz, yeah, help. Uh, and no, Masika. Masika, is that a name? Masika. Masika, or something like yes. that, Masika. And there was another lady, I'll check on the video and I'll check the name tag because the name's on the yes. tag. So they changed us and they upgraded our, our flight yeah. to actually the, the biggest airline in Japan. So yeah. we're flying back with Japan. Here we go. So we're going from um, was it Japan to Bangkok, Bangkok to Addis, and Addis to Cape Town. So that's uh, three stops, but it's okay. It's a short, short layover. So you know what, Ethiopia, thanks for salvaging. I'm okay, actually going the extra mile. Gosh. But kudos to Karen for being persistent. Uh, she's the one that said we're not going to take this lying down. No. And uh, the clothes came out, but uh, you know we had, we had to we had to rein it in a little bit. But it was necessary, but, though. Yeah. It was necessary but anyway, we we got what we. I told you guys the tiger, she don't play. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, nobody got hurt. No uh. people were injured in this uh, exercise. Unofficially, so. <laughs> Maybe mentally. <laughs> Maybe mentally. Maybe mentally. Anyway guys. But I'm just like, I'm going to fall asleep on this flight now because I'm Thank exhausted. You, yeah, not this, this day has been, been. This day has been. It's been trying. It's been trying. It's been exhausting. We, you know guys, we, like I said, we spent most of the day on the airport in between. <clears throat> Uh, the shuttle, on the phone, on email. Oh, we should go the other way. <laughs> Guys, we're just so happy that we are finally left uh, Ethiopia. We are now in? Uh, in Xi'an International Airport in South Korea. South Korea. Yeah. Finally made it out, down. guys. We touched down a couple of months So happy. Ago. We're just going to do a quick uh, bag check and uh, then we're going to uh, embark again because yeah. we're taking the same flight out to Narita. Japan. So that's another hour flight this yeah. but we will hit our destination soon. But remember, the journey is the destination. That's where it's at, guys. Guys, the airport is so quiet. Wow, it wow. is levels. Very much so. There's a I'm family centre, which is so cute. Family centre. My kids can go in and play. Oh. South Korea, baby. I said it, and I'll, I'll die on that hill saying this, but to these countries, they are living in 2050. These Constant. Asian countries, gosh, guys. Well, guys, I wish we were exiting the airport to go to South Korea, but next time, next time, this is just like, oh, here's KFC. <laughs> and they still have the full name. Kentucky Fried. Yeah. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Kentucky. Oh, then. Freaking awesome, eh? All right. Wow, there are so many kiddies play areas. As we had to disembark the plane and go through security check and uh, you know the transfer desk and everything where they check your luggage again but everything was so seamless it was so easy seamless. and so painless so this is where we need to be we're gonna go back to gate 7 and that's our flight we're getting onto the same plane by the way I gotta say guys these these um, South Korean processes are next level. I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to have to come back and visit South Korea. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, baggage? Yes. Yeah, sure. Where? Yes, sir. Are the baggage around yeah, yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I and mm -hmm. What was that all about? Oh, um, so, can Skylock's in the building. But the thing is, um, her luggage um, arrived yesterday already. So, one good thing that they've done is that they've, I mean, the Ethiopian Airlines, is that they've 
managed to save my luggage on ahead of me. So when I came, when I was not deep planning, I see my day on the boat. And I was like, Ken's guy loves you, the building. They know about me. They know about me. <laughs> so now I've got to go and get my bag at the baggage clamp. That was all the bad days. <laughs> Touchdown Narita Airport, Tokyo. We made it, guys. We made it. After all that fighting, we are finally here and let the games begin. Alright, thank goodness it arrived yesterday and uh, they kept it at the, um, at the counter over here so we just had to claim it from the baggage inquiry desk. Right, I'm going to give her a hand and then we'll walk. Um, okay guys, so we're supposed to get into car number 5. We're taking the train from the, from the uh, airport to our hotel. So basically there's one or two stops that we have to make, and uh, but we're finding our way. I'll make another video about this later on. Okay, this is car number five. Alright guys, we're in the train now. Uh, we even have our seat numbers. We paid 5,500 yen. I'm going to give you the price in dollar as well, but that's what it is. So two stops and then we do another change to another session. I mean, sorry, to another train. Oh, look at this. Look how fast that one is. All right. Kyo no Shingawa. This one. Back on four. Right, guys, I'm just following your app, and the app is showing that we need to go to the platform. Alright. We're going to go to this train. Okay, so we asked this guy for directions. <laughs> And just look at the cleanliness in this place, man. It's raining out here now, and so he just uh, offered the umbrella to Candace. And he's also taking us to the exact spot where we need to take the next train. Come oh, guys. I'm loving Japan thus far. Loving the people. Next train. Alright, the uh, transport system is quite simple guys, but um, it takes a bit of getting used to. We've only been in Tokyo for about 20 minutes now, so <laughs> we're still going to find our way. But we're taking the next train. And Just one more stop, one more stop and then we're at our station and then two minute walk, we'll be at our hotel. Station. So, okay, all right, guys, we've arrived at our hotel. All right, but we're going to the shop first. Whoa, look at her! Look at her! Can picked up this umbrella at the station. Right? Yes, like it's convenient because, uh, like in Taiwan, they have the same where well, you can pick up an umbrella and then you just put it back down when you're done with it. Okay, I can so put it down anyway. Put it down anyway. Yes, you just put it down anywhere at the station and somebody else can pick it up if they need it. Okay. Uh, just before checking in, we just came over to the 7-Eleven and we just want to see if we can get some goodies for the hotel rooms. Uh, let's see, 
just something to know on because uh, I don't think we're going to go out for supper now. It's already after 10. Alright, guys, we are at the Apa Hotel Ayase Kimai. And this is the foyer. Oh, it's not a store, it's just some supplies, emergency stuff. All right, guys, we're just gonna get checked in. And then we'll chat a bit. Came with the umbrella. 